Duran. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to Raw with April Duran. We are going to have an amazing, amazing show this evening. I hope you all had a wonderful 4th of July, a safe one. Now, tonight, we have the Taco Truck Band, all the way from Orange County. What's up, guys? Great to be here. Thank you so much. Yes, we have the additional member right over there. He's going to cruise on in in just a bit. And um, we also are going to have a giveaway by Whole Life Soap. So make sure you stay tuned for details on that. You could call in and actually win. But for right now, let's start off with a word from our sponsor, Hotbox Vintage out of South Pasadena. Hi, I'm Delilah, and I own Hotbox Vintage in South Pasadena, California. At Hotbox, our goal is curating vintage pieces that you can't live without. Our collection includes everything from the 1940s to even the early 2000s. What excites us is eclectic and unconventional style since there's no one-size-fits-all approach to fashion. Hotbox is priced for accessibility so that literally anyone can discover some vintage gems of their own. Plus, it's sustainable. Find us on Instagram and use code RAGHOUSE at checkout for 20% off your first order at hotboxvintage.com. That's right. Make sure you check out hotboxvintage.com in the promo code punch in rag house for 20% off your first purchase. Delilah, the owner, is amazing. Okay, here we go. What's up, the taco truck band? Nothing much. How are you? <laughs> good. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. Good. I'm, I'm good. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm just all excited. I love your music. Right when they walked in, I was just like, Sid, your voice, man, your voice. So, Sid, can you go ahead and introduce yourself, please? Yeah, of course. Uh, my name is Siddharth. I play guitar primarily, and I sing for the Taco Truck Band. Um, I Right now, I go to the San Francisco Conservatory of Music as a composition major. Whoa, that's really cool. Yeah. Are you in your first year, your second? Um, both me and Cesar are going to be juniors in college. Oh my goodness, congratulations, Thank Cesar. You. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing great. Good. Tell me all about you. Okay, so I am Cesar Landa. I am the drummer for the Taco Truck. I am 19. And right now I go to school in San Jose State University. Awesome. Currently I'm a percussion performance major. Mm -hmm. However, I'm considering changing to jazz studies. Uh Uh-huh. And yeah, I've been in this band since the beginning. Oh my goodness. Okay. First and foremost, look at these guys. They're so young and they're so talented. And when they walked in, I'm like, how old are you guys, man? And they're actually older than what they look. And I was just like, that's perfect, because as you get old, you're still going to look like you're 21. <laughs> so hold on to that youth, man. And drummer, the drummer right here. I And of course, I told you, drummers are always my favorite. And so do you play for any company or anything at this point? Nope. Not no yet. Company. Not, Not yet. yet. Yes. OK, so the Taco Truck Band. Tell us how you guys all came together, because there's Sid and... And Alex and Blake. Blake, we miss you, buddy. We're so missing you right now. So next time when you guys come in. So tell us how the Taco Truck Band came together. So me and Alex had known each other since we were little because our parents were good friends. Oh, cool. So, yeah, we know each other all our life. And in middle school, that's when I met Sid. Mm -hmm. We didn't really talk too much Uh other than just in band class. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't until eighth grade where... I kind of had the idea, which was inspired from my dad, saying, hey, you know, our your middle school has this big talent show, and since your last year, you should um, meet up with Sid and, like, ask him if he wants to put on a show with you and Alex. Uh-huh. Kind of like a mini band. And so I talked to him, and he was he was down. Mm-hmm. So we got, we got to know each other, and we came up with a great uh, show for our middle school. Mm-hmm. And the rest is history, pretty much. (laughs) Yeah, okay, so eighth grade, all I have to say is when I was in eighth grade, I wasn't even thinking about anything serious. (laughs) Maybe what hairspray I was going to purchase for my hair or whatever. But you guys are so serious already as musicians. Basically entrepreneurs. So basically, I mean, we've all had our own personal background studying music. Mm -hmm. Um, We've all been studying since we were very little I've been taking classical piano since I was four or five. The guys have been studying percussion since they were about the same age. And um, wow. we since I mean, since before the band even started, we all wanted to be professional musicians. Uh-huh. Um, so, you know, the band coming together was kind of a vessel for us to put all of our creativity together and kind of finally have that one thing where, you know, you're motivated as a as a as a young kid to, you know, kind of make yourself known. 
Gosh, the motivation and the drive behind you guys, just, you know, at your age is just absolutely amazing. I had no idea you guys were this young because your pictures, you look young, but I, you know, I didn't expect it. Extremely impressive. Were you guys inspired by anybody? Is there, do you have a musical background in your family? Uh, Yeah, my dad was a drummer, never really full time. It was more of like a hobby. Uh Uh-huh. But yeah, I think that definitely passed down to me, especially when I was little in our old house. He would have like this old drum set that he would, that he would use to play on and I would like How mess cool. around on it. Yeah. And he introduced me to some of his favorite musicians, musicians that would later um, help me find my style. Mm-hmm. And he was the one who encouraged me to start taking drum lessons when I was nine. Oh, my goodness. How awesome. So your mom, I'm guessing, and the neighbors didn't care when you were banging away on the drums. Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they did because I know all about the drum thing. So I'm sure they're just like, oh my goodness, there they go again. Yeah, but it's we've, okay. We've all kind of like reached agreements with the neighbors where like we set hours as to when and when we play and stuff like oh, that. Oh, so, cool. Yeah, yeah. That is so cool. So they're just, so actually it's like a free concert, really. I, we like to think of it that way. Yeah. <laughs> we hope they see it that way. <laughs> that is super cool. So gosh, so you guys have been training, so to speak. Your whole life, really, for Absolutely. more than half of your life. Yeah. So what have you noticed about drums that, like, your favorite thing to do or your, you know, you know how you're you're studying on, on drums constantly for your whole life? Is there something particular that you really love or hate? Oh, man. I, I guess the only thing I would say I would hate is setting them up. Oh, like my a- goodness. <laughs> do you have a dolly? Yeah, it's small, but... It helps, I guess. You know, and then when you go to shows, you're you're the one that's carrying it. Do you, do you guys help him? I it's hope you're all helping. hands on deck. Yeah. Oh, nice, very yeah. nice. You see, these guys, they just take the instruments out of the case, plug it in, and they're good to go. <gasps> oh I, my god, yeah. And I gotta you. do all the setting up and everything, but that's about it. Other than that, like all the joys of like learning new rhythms and stuff, mm-hmm. I it's everything to me. Yeah, that's that's so awesome, because I know like for the drummer that, you know, parking and unloading and then when you're done worrying about if someone's going to, you know, uh, take off with your bass or your, you know, your drums and everything. So I totally understand that. So, okay, tell me about you and your amazing voice. Now, I saved this when you first got here. You right when I heard the taco truck band from Orange County, you guys, I was like, oh, my goodness, because one of my favorite bands is the Tokyo Police Club. Have you heard of them? No, I haven't. Very similar to. Okay. They're they're absolutely amazing. You guys are way more awesome, though. But (laughs) tell me about your your voice and and how you've been training. So if you listen to all the records on public domain from the taco truck, you can actually Mm -hmm. hear that, like, my voice changes dramatically Mm -hmm. um, throughout, like, all three. We released one in 2015, Mm -hmm. one in 2017, and now our most recent in 2020. Mm -hmm. And um, it's basically like a chronology of how we've all grown as musicians. Mm -hmm. But the most obvious thing is is the voice. Well, yeah, because you're actually growing yourself. You know, you're going through the uh, through the the changes. uh Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it basically like we started at 13 and 14. So that's when your voice starts to change anyways. Oh, yeah. I know that. The crack. Exactly. (laughs) It, It still happens. So my voice actually hasn't been stable for a single album recording. Um, oh so goodness. I'm I'm very surprised that you think I'm so great because I have very little control awesome. over my voice. You it's changing are awesome. almost every week. So. Well, maybe that's a create that's the like creativity behind it. it honestly, know? it does impact our writing a lot. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, like Michael Jackson. If you listen to his first album, it's so different compared to his later albums. Yeah, so absolutely. But I but your voice is just awesome. And and I had told them right when they came in, I said, you know, I love bands and I'm I love listening to them and promoting them. But when a band has an amazing singer i think that is so key because you see this band and they're so cool and everything and then all of a sudden they start singing and you're like oh okay (laughs) (laughs) but with you it's just so how do you train your voice do you go to the voice lessons so like i said i started on classical piano but Mm -hmm. i have a musical theater background as well nice so that kind of helps with all parts of you know performance projection um stage comfortableness Mm -hmm. you know just like being yourself on stage um, so that kind of helped me a lot with like learning how to be loud, but also do it the right way. Can you show me like a little exercise you do? You um, just- yeah, I guess I can show you. I kind of go. That's like 
what you want <laughs> to do to start. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and you go as soft and loud as you want. I mean, that's, do you do that before every show or before you start singing? Yeah. Before every show. Um, when we rehearse, I actually don't sing about half the time. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah. yeah. Because, uh-huh. like I said, my voice is changing so often. Mm-hmm. Um, and we are it's kind of it's a small slight disadvantage but we're we're really a studio band we especially because of covid and us Mm -hmm. being in college the past two years oh yeah we haven't had a chance to play shows every weekend like most bands do Mm -hmm. what we are really good at is going in the studio and recording really really good takes of songs that's perfect this guy can go in the studio and be done in one take are you kidding me he's he's the one he's the one take wonder that's what they call him (laughs) That's um, really cool. Yeah. You need a shirt, One Take Wonder. <laughs> and we, we all follow his suit. We're, so we're snappy in there, and that's what we like to do. That's what we're good at. Mm-hmm. So um, That's voice, amazing. Yeah, and the voice is, is it, it, it's, it's almost like working for TV instead of live live shows, right? Uh-huh. Like you get a chance to take a break in between takes and stuff like that. Well, yeah, so, and yeah. college is so important. So I'm glad that you're focusing on, yeah. you know, what's real. I mean, the band and music is so important too, but yeah. Yeah, you have to put them in order. Absolutely. So, okay, let's talk about this. Okay, you guys just received or um, released Glass Set. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I know there's a lot of work behind creating music and just putting it together and everything. So tell me about um, Glass Alligator. So Glass Alligator conceptually is kind of about someone who loses their way um it's like uh has to do with struggle and um relationships and stuff like that Mm -hmm. um and it's like it has like a little bit of like a noah's ark reference with all these animals and heaven and stuff like that how cool um i'm not a religious person Mm. but i like putting a lot of that kind of stuff into music because it's relatable to a lot of people yeah um and so yeah we have like a lot of that in there as well let's listen it's it's definitely the melancholy fill. Yeah. They made a tree house in the lightest of heavens. As they looked down, they said, just move along, you're alone. I try to lift up. Connect with a real God He sends glass eagles To drop me from buildings Oh, the 900th floor He said I'd survive many more Drop me into the sea Fifty glass sharks eating This is like a love song. A very dark one. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes a lot of people like me, not being a musician, you just listen to the melody, so you think like it's about love. Yeah, yeah, And then when you really tune into the lyrics, that's when you're like, oh my goodness. Something much more. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Tell me about the collaborations. Who writes the music? Who writes uh, the lyrics? Is it all? Is it all of you? Well, each song is different. Mm-hmm. There's many ways that we come up with them. One of my favorites is where we just randomly play music. Like maybe I'll start off with a beat or something, mm-hmm. and then Sid or Alex will just add in something else on guitar and bass. Mm-hmm. And then much much later on, we'll like think okay, what do we want this song to be about if we decide to keep it? Mm -hmm. Another thing is sometimes Sid will write the lyrics first Mm -hmm. or maybe all of us will like help a little bit Mm because it's definitely the best one when it comes to lyrics. Oh, I bet. (laughs) So it's just a collaboration of all of you then. Yeah, pretty much. Or maybe we'll take an old project Mm -hmm. from one of us 
or maybe we'll take some old projects that we made years ago mm -hmm. and kind of like set aside and we'll take that like we'll incorporate pieces of that with what we like to do now mm -hmm. and we'll come up with something new how cool yeah so uh, lyrics okay so for instance like glass alligator you know you said it's a little dark mm -hmm. is that something personally from that you experienced so or? well i actually write the melodies and harmony first before oh, okay. i come up with words uh -huh. um so both of the songs that you hear are very upbeat the melodies are really chirpy and i did that completely intentionally how cool um, because like the songs are really dark mm -hmm. um we all have been through like lots of different things um these two songs in particular are about like things like clinical depression mm -hmm. and like how hard it can be to be away from people sure um like the complexities of just simple relationships mm -hmm. um and things like that um so the song mellow body for instance goes all over the place my with, fave with highs and lows mm -hmm. yeah um glass alligator is a little more of a steady mood mm -hmm. but it is about being let down so yeah. yeah and yeah like you said what i'm we've all been through stuff like that so mm -hmm. it's very we can understand that it's hopefully a relatable thing a totally relatable so that's part of glass set how many how many uh songs are on glass set so there's two songs on glass set, mm -hmm. but we intend to record more and add it to that to that pack. So nice. glass set is kind of the preview of what we're trying to do this summer. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I can't wait to hear the rest of the music because they're so different. Mellow Body, which we're gonna play in a little bit, and um, I I love Glass Alligator. But like I said, it's like a love, you know, you kind of want to just snuggle and, and then mellow body, you kind of just want to like dance and, you know, have some fun. So yeah. I love how you have the varieties of music. It's great. Yeah. So, okay. So, uh, we, it's now the time for our giveaway. So a lot of people know whole life soaps every Monday for raw with April Duran. I always love giving this away and the owner bill, he's, he's just so cool. So whole life soaps located in Wrightwood, California are made from natural ingredients like shea butter and coconut oil their soaps won't dry your skin they smell great and they leave you feeling clean whole life soaps is also local socal family-owned business so when you buy from whole life soaps you're supporting your community so try a bar from whole life soaps today where they believe in great skincare and remember this is my favorite thing to say what you put onto your body is as important as what you put into it so visit wholelifesoaps.com today if you want to win a prize it's like three bars of amazing soap whole i mean they make it in their shop so it's amazing a three pack of lip conditioner and some cream it's absolutely amazing give us a call 909-477-7321 give us a call and you could be the winner also if you have a question for the taco truck band you can also give us a call 909-477-7321 i always throw that out and people get nervous especially people who are um who are not into the entertainment or anything, they get scared and uh, and they don't want to call. But don't we don't bite. Sid, do you bite? Not at all, no. Yeah. I, so we're going to switch off here. Thank you so much, Caesar. Thank you so much. The drummer, there you go. Hello, what's Hello. up? Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good, good. So here is the other member of the taco truck. Oh, my goodness, I totally forgot. What ha the behind the name, the taco truck? Oh, perfect. perfect. But first, first, introduce yourself. Okay. Tell us who you are and what you do. I'm I'm Alex Soto. Um, I'm 19, and I play bass in the taco truck. But I study percussion and music education at San Diego State University. My alumni. Yep. Awesome. Go Aztecs. Don't you love that school? Almost too it. much fun, right? It. Yeah. So the music <laughs> program, it's amazing. I love it. Love the people there. Yes. So Very much cool. Fun. Very cool. Now, okay, so who wants to spill the beans on Go why the taco oh, truck yes. man? So when it was this one day, we were practicing in Cesar's home studio. Uh-huh. And we get we get Cesar's little sister uh -huh. to help us out with some names, right? Uh -huh. And so she just comes up with this list of names, just random silly names but uh -huh. they just make so much sense because it's a middle school how band. old is she how old 
She must have been nine or ten at the time. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Yeah. Okay, I wonder what the names are. Can you remember any of the other names you didn't pick? The two, the one name that I remember the most, other than the taco truck, obviously, <laughs> is the pencil sharpeners. Oh my goodness, how cute. <laughs> What's that one book? The dirt Was it the Dirty Diaper Band or from... Uh, that book, Wimpy oh, Kid. Loaded Diaper. Loaded, loaded Diaper. Di- that oh. That's brilliant. I was just like, oh my God, that's such a good name. But the Taco <laughs> Truck Band is way better. So she just came up with the Taco Truck. Yeah. And is it because you guys had parties and you guys had Taco Trucks? I or think, I think it's, it's just the fact that me and Cesar are, are Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> Mexican here too. We love tacos. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a cultural staple. So. Oh, big time. So do you guys have, have you guys ever had a Taco Truck actually at one of your shows? No, but we have had taco style buffet type things. Yes. Like <laughs> this no. I, uh, yeah. the what? what? What is it? We had a release party outside the Reese's show. There were like four taco trucks. Oh, <laughs> see, and that, see, so you reel people in, they listen to the the band, oh, the taco truck band, and then the people who don't know your band, they're like, oh, but there's tacos, and then they get to listen to your amazing sound, yeah, yeah. and your music, and have tacos, that's like heaven, that's, whether you're Mexican <laughs> or not. That's the magic behind the name, because, yes. oh, you, you, in, you, you incentivize, there will be tacos present, <laughs> <laughs> you know, us. We're, we're the tacos. We refer to ourselves as tacos. <laughs> right. Or, or for Halloween, if you play a show, you could wear the taco the taco costume. Perfect, yeah. I, I, I actually own a taco costume. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So if you're just tuning in, we are interviewing the Taco Truck Band out of Orange County. Yes, they did the drive, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy you guys did. I actually play their music at my FM station, Hot 103.9, out in San Bernardino for local artist Spotlight. And right when I heard their music, I was just like, yes, because I love promoting new music. But I, my ears actually really enjoyed your sound. So it was really cool. And um, so I'm so happy that you guys came in. So, okay, so tell me, how, how, who um, inspired you to become a musician and, and what's your history? I mean, who inspired me is, basically, is, is like Cesar, Cesar's dad, but replace Cesar's dad with my uncle. Uh-huh. My, my uncle, he's, he's a professional music, musician in Mexico. Like he plays, oh, cool. He plays what guitar. part of Mexico? Um, well, he was born in Los Mochis, okay. but he's based in Monterrey. Nice. And uh-huh. So, you know, he goes around um, with other bands. He plays guitar. He's just an amazing guitarist. And I remember him being being there, being there to push me towards, you know, playing music. Like, hey, Alex, play this guitar. Mm-hmm. And like, and like, you should you should learn how to play guitar because it's it's it, it it'll just be it'll help you be more expressive and everything like that. Absolutely. And I'm like, yeah, and sure. it helps with the girls too. <laughs> <laughs> But that's not very important, right? No. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yeah. Literally every single song you're about to hear this summer is from one girl. So oh. they definitely, they're important. they're important. Yeah, they're, but yeah. The, the glass alligator, if that's kind of dark, I hope she's not a mean girl. No, no, okay, no, no, good. no. I'm just a sensitive guy. <laughs> well, that's good. There's nothing wrong with that, Sid. I promise you. Nothing. Don't ever let that go away. <laughs> So good. And you know what? I also also back to your uncle, I just have to say, because I work for Live Nation out Mm. in Irvine Amp and at the Wiltern prior to being on radio. And there was oh, we always knew we were going to cash in Mexican music, Mm -hmm. whether it was Latino rock or, you know, uh, Christian music and country. So. Uh, Mexican, like, you know, rock is just like huge, or Spanish rock is just really, really huge. So that's awesome that your uncle and Cesar's dad, who's right here. uh, I wish I had like two, three other mics so everybody could just jump in. We can have a party. So I just have to remind everybody, call us. If you have questions, don't be afraid. 909-477-7321. Let me see what everyone's saying on um, Facebook. And while I'm doing that, I want to know the story behind Mellow Body. So tell me tell me about that. And then we'll listen to because this is my favorite song. Um, So Mellow Body is a little different because uh-huh. Alex actually wrote the intro guitar part for that. So the like all the rhythm guitar that you hear is Alex. Oh, OK. Um, I wrote the bass part. Mm-hmm. And then Blake, you'll hear on this song. He wrote the saxophone and he's a horn. He's a horn guy. A horn yeah. Player, yeah. Right? So we we have a we play a duet together mm-hmm. where he does sax and I do a little 
like like second guitar type stuff mm -hmm. and the structure of this song is very unique too because there's like this really intense chant at the end and like it's a little more like punk than we usually than we've ever done basically and fun um, yeah it's really fun that's what that's what you get when you when you branch out of like our our normal our normal compositional track mm -hmm. um we're trying to do something different you get mellow body so and blake blake who we're missing so much he's actually from the ie from rancho cucamonga so man blake we miss you so much yeah if i could actually just talk about blake for like two seconds absolutely I just yes we him. can't dismiss him no not not at all so he he joined us in 2018 mm -hmm. um uh, he'd been playing a few shows with us um and he actually studies at the berkeley college of music nice he's a music production and engineering i believe yeah major so mm -hmm. he's studying to be you know mixing recording songs for people um producing tracks he's great at it he's he's a very talented kid awesome um and he he does a uh, saxophone for us he plays he'll play some keys and um he helps me a lot with harmony composition and stuff like that so. yeah tell us why blake isn't here um so this is all because of covid um mm -hmm. blake is stuck in boston and he does work there and do a lot of stuff but he did plan on being in california for a good part of the summer to you know be able to interact and record sure, and play yeah. shows with us but that's not going to be possible anymore because mm -hmm. he can't come back so yeah. i blake i yeah yeah we miss <laughs> you so much we have some uh people asking questions on facebook but before we do that let's play my favorite song right here Can you try singing to it? Do you want me to? Yeah, go for it. You can play. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bridge overhead, he shatters bones, he's left for dead. Kids in the meadow, have you seen a dead man's face before? Rise like a ghost and say, hey, I just wanted to cross the bay. The kids all shit their pants and cry. Enough sightseeing for the night. Cause I don't know when she's going off the end. So I can't sit around waiting for a ghost to come home. These days when she calls me on the telephone, I say hi and then she cuts the line. Yes, I still hit the bottle every weekend. And each day in between is just a tweak again. She gets worse when I wake and hit the Jeep. And I sank below the sea when you said you wanted to be friends. Nice! Woo! That was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> There's Blake. The beast, the boy, the demon in the night, the chain, the bite, the dirty, dirty fight. He crawls away from military harm. He dies alone, he dies unarmed. The beast, the boy, the demon in the night, the chain, the bite, the dirty, dirty fight. He crawls away from military harm. He dies alone, he dies unarmed.
stripes, the chain, the military drain, the beast is burned by military slaves, and they crawl inside the plastic caves, and they wait, and wait, and wait till Saturday, and he breaks the chain, the military drain, the beast is burned by military slaves, and they crawl inside the plastic caves, and they wait, and wait. Wow. Okay. I just have to do this. This is like crazy. Oh, wait, wait. Before we do. <laughs> that was like amazing. Standing ovation for sure. You guys are just off the hook. The Taco Truck Band. Absolutely amazing from Orange County. You just heard Mellow Body off Glass Set. We also heard Glass Alligator earlier. And I wonder if we could like bring in, uh, I, I want to say it correctly, Cesar. Cesar, yeah. uh, we miss you, buddy. <laughs> I wonder if we could cruise you on in. Can you, uh, you want to try to grab that chair? Oh, oh, yeah. And uh, I don't know if this will work. You guys will have to share this, actually. Yeah. Let's see if we can do this. We have to have the whole fam, man. <laughs> That's it. Let's see if Perfect. we if we can see you. So the Taco Truck Band right here. And I have to throw out, we have Whole Life Soaps ready to give away something. Give us a call, 909-477-7321. We're in a little delay on the Facebook, so we'll see if we can see you, Cesar. I'm sorry, I was calling you Caesar earlier, huh? That's You're fine. like... Get it right, girl. <laughs> okay, so Facebook. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. April White. What is their band name, and are they on Amazon? Yes, so we, are, yes, know your we are on Amazon. Yes. Okay. Okay, so see, we can see you off to the side. See? <laughs> you just need to uh, get in a little bit more, Caesar. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, the taco truck band. Someone says, awesome. Someone's clapping. Love the name, of course. I bet you guys get that all the time, huh? Yes. Play a tune. You know what? I am going to play a tune while we talk right now because I'm, I'm tired of hearing my voice. Here, we'll play. You're listening to Glass Alligator right now. Oh, my God. Oh, they said a little uh, vampire weekend. Do you guys get um, compared to them often? Yes, actually, yeah. one of my friends uh, just oh, oh, like clap. told me that this song sounded like vampire weekend song. Wow. So that's really funny. <laughs> no, it sounds like the taco truck band. Song. <laughs> but yeah, no, like I said, like the Tokyo Police Club, right? Because gosh, right. I saw them out in Hollywood like eight, eight, nine years ago, and I love them. I don't know what happened to them, but your voice is just, you know, and they're big. So. Um, Let's see. Uh, Parsa said, oh, yeah. <laughs> Our guitarist said, yo. So we got a lot of people tuning in and checking you guys out. This is really cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So if you guys have a question, we're about to go. 909-477-7321. We have, I have a few more questions, and you're listening to Glass Alligator right off their brand new release, uh, Glass Set. So um, how has the Taco Truck Band been affected by COVID? So, I mean, like we were talking a little bit about Blake, but distance has been a big deal. Yes, yes. Another thing is it's not just us. It's our entire industry. Mm -hmm. It's basically been destroyed. Right. So we don't play shows anymore. Mm -hmm. um, we basically, it's recording in actual studios is hard and next to impossible. Gets, getting studio time is really difficult. Public studio time. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, shows are banned. Like you're not allowed to have congregations of people over mm -hmm. a certain numbers so mm -hmm. we do live streams that's oh, our yes. way of adapting we've decided not to just quit and wait for covid to go away mm -hmm. we're gonna adapt to the virtual medium and kind of um, pursue that so. and that's what you have to do because you guys are artists you're musicians so you have to be creative on that whole part and you don't have headphones oh my goodness i'm so don't sorry worry, sister as yes as they can still hear me and yes. Blake, you're here in spirit, man. This is your seat right here, dude. Right here. Blake's right here. Yeah, right here. What's up, Blake? What's <laughs> up? <laughs> He's like, why is this whole old lady right next to me? <laughs> Just kidding. So, okay, so what do we have up and coming? Um, I would say you probably want to do one more live stream show. Our first one that we did was on Instagram. I saw that, yeah. yeah. Then our second and bigger one, and probably my favorite so far, was the one on Facebook. You guys had a huge, huge... Uh, viewing, viewing, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that was one, great. Yeah, that one was like more professional. We had like our little like skit intro and outro and stuff. Uh huh. And we're think we're thinking that maybe our possibly last one 
least for the summer, would be on YouTube. Oh, nice. Uh huh. Yeah, and we, I mean, who knows? We might even just make a series of it and keep going. Heck yeah, um, that's what you guys need to do. Yeah, and then short term goals also include finishing the 15 song group of um, the, the group that goes along with the glass set. I cannot so. wait. Yeah. Because these two songs are absolutely amazing. Here we go, right here. This song right here wants me, uh, I want to grab a beer and just hang out by the pool. <laughs> Actually, you know what, B, I want to go to the beach. <laughs> yeah. This is like a beach song, you know, where totally. you just want to like have fun. Yeah. The music video, the music video could be at a beach. Yeah. If we really, if we really wanted it. That would be awesome. I yeah. think so. Yeah. If you want, you know, some lady surfing in the background, I'll be happy to cruise out. <laughs> The Taco Truck, ladies and gentlemen, out of Orange County. All right. They are absolutely amazing. Say your names again and what you play in the band. I'm Sid. I'm the singer and guitarist. I'm Alex. I play the bass. I'm Cesar, and I play the drums. And, and Blake Theo, who's not here with us, plays saxophone and keyboard. All right. Any shout outs, guys? Um, yeah, we have a major shout out to the man behind the camera. His Yay! name is Victor Landa. He's our manager and he's been fueling the band since we were 13. Also, wow. all of our moms and dads who have been our support system since we were very small. So thank you. Absolutely, man. You you want to come in really quick? <laughs> Do it. Just Do keep it. your head in. Keep your head in. Yeah, you, ha you have to make a, a little view here. Let's see. Well, we won't be able to see, but there he is. There's the Because we're a little behind on the... On the Facebook feed. But that's the dad. That's the reason why they're here. That's the reason why they're alive. Or why Scissor's alive. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the Taco Truck Band. Where can we find you guys? Um, on all major media outlets. Um, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. All, our music is available on all streaming platforms. Pandora, Spotify, Apple Music. Uh, you name it. So, yeah. All right. The Taco Truck Band out of Orange County, guys. Would you do the honors and sign my brand new banner? Of course. Thank Thanks. you so much for Thank having you. us. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you. Someone has to write uh, Blake's name. He crawls away from military harm. He dies alone. He dies unarmed. The waste of the demon and I die. The waste of the military harm. All right, peace, you guys. Thank you.